Hey, 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 Earth Signs, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of Love Tarot. So, <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, I almost said Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is for you, this is your daily dose, and we're going to start with Taurus. So, Taurus, what do you have coming to you this day? What kind of energy? I'm going to do this. Okay, Taurus, your overall energy is the two of wands, okay? And this is talking about dreaming. That's what I'm feeling. Notice he's looking at the earth here, and you are earth. I feel like right now you are grounding your dream. And this is what you're focusing on, the earth being symbolic of that grounding. Because I, I feel you know that it's coming. It's like you put it out there. Almost has a three of wands vibe. Like you're waiting for your manifestations to show up. Now what's ch challenging you is the four of cups. So this is talking about when those manifestations come in and you receive offers okay they're not going to be like you thought they would be right they may look a little bit different so they may show up a little bit different but you can look as they say don't look a gift horse in the mouth Okay, you need to look in the cup. You need to look in the cup. So we're going to clarify the two of wands. Yeah, see, this is a new beginning. This is your manifestations coming to life. Okay, this is a portal as well. Now, let's see. Oh, the portal you're jumping through has love. This may make you nervous, right? Ace of Cups and Temperance. You need patience. This may make you hella nervous because you're fixed. You may be getting a lot of attention and love once you jump through this portal because your past is no longer present okay it is over done with yeah your soulmate is here so jumping through this portal is bringing you toward a soulmate but you're going to be getting a lot of attention wow now with this four of cups here okay you've got the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups symbolic of the ending before you jump through that portal here and this is talking about your wishes, your dreams being grounded. And with that grounding, there comes abundance. There comes confidence, right? This is single, ready to mingle. So this is what's inside that cup. Seven of swords. Why is that here? Okay, you feel that... It's not what you think it's going to be because of the past. There was a shady character in the past, you know, that you experience and you're assuming what's in that cup is the same and it's not what you want. Like you want this and that cup contains something of the past and it doesn't. It may contain this king of wands, six of pentacles. Yeah, so there's two people here, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, you're going to be getting a couple of offers. All right, you need to listen to your intuition here, Taurus. All right, because you're going to beat out some sort of competition here. And you're going to be able to go after your dreams. And you're going to be expanding with the Libra card manifestation of your dreams and wishes okay take that leap of faith and you won't be sorry all right taurus thank you very much and now on to virgo hey 
Hey, 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 Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. What are the energies bringing you, Virgo? Okay. So your overall energy, Virgo, is the Eight of Pentacles. So it seems like you're going to be working a lot, right? So work is on your mind. And what's challenging is going to be the patience to see the results of that work, okay? The patience of seeing, you know, the seeds that you planted grow. So let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords the Three of Swords, and the King of Wands. Okay, so I feel like Virgo, you could have been working on or you could be working on two different relationships and you have to choose one. This could be between an air sign and a fire sign. Yeah, juggling two. Okay, the Three of Swords here is knowing that you have to break somebody's heart. But this is an opportunity at love and moving forward in love and possibly moving, jumping through a portal and beginning again. So, yeah, here you are. Okay, you're waiting for your seeds to grow. The Empress, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Oh my God, uh, same thing as Taurus, okay? It's like your seeds are growing, right? There's something that's coming of um, the seeds or a seed and you're like, no, it's not what I wanted. Yes, it is. It may not look like what you thought it was, but it's going to be better. What's the Queen of Cups? Okay, so... <laughs> the same thing similar one more two of pentacles so you're going to be sitting there making a decision do i take the cup do i not take the cup and it's all because of a past experience like taurus a past experience with a love that you feel is going to be repeated here for whatever reason there's something about what you feel it looks like and you're not even looking at it you're assuming why yeah see this is like a spy this is being curious and i feel like you've got to be curious enough to look in this cup and you're not see this is that cup this is huge this is the ace of cups it's like you're all up in your heart space, right? You're all ready for expansion. You have an angel here to help guide you, okay? And is waiting to help create something with you. But you've got to take that first step. So that way the angels can push you ahead 1,000. 1,000 steps, okay? Six of Cups. You too have a soulmate. All you need to do is go through this portal. And going through this portal means taking this cup. It's like you need to take a leap of faith. Faith. <laughs> the hair font. You need to have faith and commit to the decision and go through the portal. That's what you need to do. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Like, share, and subscribe. If you want a reading, you can go to eurosacredscribe.etsy.com or join me every day um, and ask a question for 777 in Super Chat or PayPal. Have a good one, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of Love Tarot. Namaste. Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of Love Tara. So let's see what's up for you. Wow. Okay, so your overall energy Capricorn is the King of Cups. And this is talking about love. So you are definitely in your heart space. You are definitely in your um, the space where you're connected to everything around you. Okay, let's clarify this. The Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, 
the King of Pentacles. Okay. Now, before I get into the clarification, what's crossing you is the Seven of Wands. Okay, so your challenge is dealing with a lot of shit that's coming at you. Okay, this person on the top of the hill is a little bit anxious, a little bit paranoid. He has two different shoes on here. Okay, uh, not even noticing it, he's rushing to the top of that hill. And although he feels he has the upper hand because he can see from a higher perspective, there are doors that will not be available to him. Energetic doors that won't be available to him because he is not balanced. He's too paranoid to see. Okay, and sometimes it's the obvious. So balancing, okay, your chakras is going to be, yes, a cause for concern. That's what I just heard. Wow. All right, so I feel like there is a decision you have to make, okay? The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, and this has to do with love. Two of Cups, okay? This could have to do with a reunion. This could have to do with Taurus, Libra energy, sometimes Virgo. Now, the Seven of Swords here. Ah, and the Five of Swords. Somebody around you may be tricking you or vice versa somebody coming back for a reunion it's like is it what they say it is energies could be reversed there is a king of swords here so this could be between a libra and a taurus which is funny because the Empress represents both. Yeah, this is a past love. One of them at least. Okay. Yep. The Devil card and the Hierophant. Taurus energy. So this has to do with commitment. This has to do with home. All right. Uh, what are you hanging on to? Maybe somebody that hung on to you or you uh, couldn't let go of and now you're taking a leap of faith into the sun into happiness okay and planting a seed so things would go in your favor all right um eight of cups just be careful because like i said somebody could be tricking you for some reason um, because you have somebody walking away later on right just when things get good it's like things are good and then you walk away. So just be careful that that won't happen with everybody, but it is present, right? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. So it could be, you know, that this person is a player that's coming back. All right. Um, that is one scenario, but for some reason, there's some shadiness there, all right, that you have to be aware of. Uh, and it has to do with the ego because it, it, you've got that five of swords there, okay? So your challenge here, clarifying the seven of wands, you have the high priestess, the chariot, and the tower. So you have something surprising coming at you. And this could be this person coming back to reunite, okay? It could be that all of a sudden you have all of these prospects in love and now you have to choose, right? Right? One of these could be a secret love. One of these could be a twin flame with the high priestess. The chariot card is moving. Maybe somebody moves towards you or you're moving all of a sudden. Yeah, king of wands, you could be dealing. Look at this fire. You've got king of wands and the queen of swords. Gemini energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So there's a lot of people competing for your attention and there's so much going on. You're finding it hard to choose because there is no breathing room. Okay. There's no breathing room. That's what I'm feeling. So I feel like it comes down to a third party situation and one has to end. Okay. One has to go out in the cold and it could be a Virgo. The Magician, Gemini Energy. Yeah, manifesting love. So you're going to have to choose. 
make sure that you're making this choice carefully because like I said there's that shadiness there uh, go with your intuition Capricorn um, yeah because you have a lot of prospects so uh, that's what I have for you Capricorn like share and subscribe um, yeah so if you're interested in a question you can catch me uh, live every day and ask a question for 777 or go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. You have a wonderful day and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of love tarot. Namaste.